Hi, it's uh, Hung from Wiseman Say. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, a very basic uh, feature on LinkedIn uh, pertaining to groups. Um, uh, basically, how to send an announcement to all your members. Um, okay, first thing we need to do is go to a group. Um, I'm going to go to the groups tab here. And you can see I belong to uh, all these groups at, down here. Um, I'm going to select one which I actually take part in managing. Um, you can only send an announcement if you're uh, a manager or an owner of one of the groups. Um, so I'm going to scroll right down here to uh, my university alumni group, University of St. Andrews Alumni. I'm going to click it on uh, that link right here. And we come to the um, uh, homepage, I guess, the landing page of the University of St. Andrews Alumni Group homepage. Um, and you can see the area we're interested in here is really the, uh, the middle tab, the middle bar here, um, where you can see overview, discussions, news, uh, jobs, subgroups, uh, manage, and more. Um, area we're interested in is manage. So you click on to manage right there. And you can see on the left-hand nav bar um, a number of options on what you need to do to manage the group. Um, and the one, of course, we're interested in is send an announcement. Um, uh, now, basically, what this is is an email um, uh, which lands in the inbox um, of all of your members um, uh, that have uh, ticked the checkbox to say that they're willing to accept uh, announcements from the uh, group owner or manager. So it's actually a very effective way uh, to sending out a, a group email uh, and make sure everyone sees it. Typically, you'd use it uh, to make announcements about what's going on in the group, uh, developments that's really relevant to everyone there. So um, I'm going to click on that link here, and you can see it brings up this box. Um, uh, as you can see from the text, um, and you can just trace that. You can send it once per week to prevent abuse, I assume. Um, uh, but it gives uh, sends an email. It's basically um, a much stronger way of making a, a communicating a message, a uh, much stronger way of doing it as opposed to discussions, which uh, a lot of people don't read. Um, so I'm just going to title it here: Announcement uh, University of St Andrews Alumni. But it's related to jobs, uh, subgroups, uh, and stats because I've done a bit of statistical analysis um, so far. So uh, here's what we're going to look at. Now, what I've actually done is I've pre-written an email um, because an announcement typically takes um, a, a lot of uh, forethought and thinking. Uh, you only get the chance to send it once every seven days, um, so it's very important that you uh, you don't waste it um, and, and, and that you write something that people want to read. So um, I've put this together here. I'm just going to cut and paste that in there, um, and it's essentially a message of goodwill to um, everyone who is a member, uh, but also to giving a, a bit of information about what's happening uh, with regards to the group. Um, uh, you can see text has gone into the message, um, follow announcement, which is basically follow any new comments, um, and make it a featured discussion so everyone sees it. Uh, now you can opt to send a test uh, email to yourself, this is my email address here, um, but I'm pretty comfortable uh, with doing this. Uh, so I'm going to go right ahead and fire it off. Um, although, if you are sending an announcement for the first time, it's probably worthwhile uh, just trying out and sending a test uh, to make sure um, that you're not making uh, any errors. Um, uh, let, me, uh, let me just uh, correct that. Actually, I'm going to put the latest announcement um, from the University of Arizona Jobs. So now. Okay, I'm going to just fire this down here. Click on Send. As a member, I should get it myself, and the announcement is posted. So, so there we go. Um, that is how you send an announcement to groups on LinkedIn. Um, this is Hong Lee from Wiseman Say. I hope you enjoy the video.